What's up Tech Smashers, today I have a really quick video for you since I was actually in the middle of doing my in-depth review of the OnePlus One. I know you guys have written on that one. And this little guy arrived, so I decided to take a quick break and show you what it is. So if you don't know what Pressy is, it's a small device shaped like a 3.5mm headphone jack with a button at the top of it that you can actually plug straight into your Android smartphone's headphone port. And once it's there, you can program it to do different tasks or open certain apps with a sequence of button presses. This specific one I have here though is not the actual Pressy but a Chinese product that does the same thing called Click and that's Click with a K. I can't remember exactly where I got it but I paid literally a few cents for it so I'll see if I can find back that link and leave it in the description. Let's get this package and open and see what's inside. Looks like we just have a pamphlet here and the Click itself, let's get this out of the way. And I'm not expecting this pamphlet to have any kind of English on it so we have to set this up ourselves and I'm guessing the three barcodes at the bottom are the apps we need or the information we need to get this run on our device, so we'll check that out in a bit. Now onto the actual click, so let's just get it out of this rubber here that it came in. And all I can say about this is that it looks like a 3.5mm headphone jack, that's all there is to it. So, if you probably take one of your old headphones and cut the end off, it pretty much will look and feel exactly like this does. And actually the button on top adds no bulk and the click is pretty tactile and hardly noticeable. After playing around with this a bit, I got it to connect and I'll show you how to do that now. So just open up any barcode scan on your device and we'll scan the last one to the right of the pamphlet. This will give us a link here where we need to go to get this app, so let's open that up in the browser. Once it opens, choose Chrome, hit OK and let it download. Once it's finished downloading, just open it up like any other APK and let it install. When that's done, just hit open, and now we have this setup screen. Our next step is to plug the click into the device, which is as easy as plugging in a headphone. Once that's in, I'll just give you a look around the device to see how it looks once it's plugged in. Once we have the click all plugged in and ready to go, let's just run through the setup by clicking once. Then twice. And then a long press. And that's it. Now we can go ahead and set up our tasks or our different apps to open with the sequence of buttons. So I'll go ahead and set that up now and then we'll test it out. Okay, so I've finished setting it up, so let's go ahead and try it out now. For the single click, I set the flashlight to turn on, so let's go ahead and try that out. And it does work. However, there is a bit of a delay, and to me it's pretty understandable for what the device does. It basically just plugs into your headphone port, so a little bit of a delay is not much to fuss about. Now let's try out the double click, which I set as camera. There's our camera. Then we have the triple click which I set as Google Chrome. And lastly, our long press which I set to go straight back to the home screen. So all of the sequences we set up did work and it actually works with the screen off also so there's no need to turn on your screen before doing the click sequences. And if you're wondering just how far it protrudes from the phone when it's plugged in, I'll show you now how it looks with a case on and the case actually covers most of it and at certain angles you can't even notice it's there. So that's about it for this video, if you want to get one of your own, I'll try my best to find back that link that I got this from and leave it in the description below. That's about it, and if you like this video, don't forget to like, hit subscribe, share it and leave your thoughts down below in the comment section, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.